this is the second part of my uh, video for the UT61E Uni uh, T digital multimeter. Uh, and uh, the first part, I did a uh, video about using SIGROC uh, to read read the meter, but I kind of like to write my own programs, and you know, so I have control of you know what happens with it. So. I basically got a, a Perl script here, uh, not too too complicated, but um, what I did was just wrote this Perl script for Linux. I mean, I, I use Linux laptop, as I said, and like to uh, use it where I can. Uh, so SIGROC worked great. I mean, there was no problem with it at all, and you know, it had good formatting. But I wanted to have uh, my own program. Uh, I was interested in reading from the serial port. So basically, I just kind of wrote that program. So, uh, just show you a little bit of output right now. It's just in a microamps mode. And so, when we switch it to Hertz, the output will change. on the screen and duty cycle mode uh, and go back to Hertz mode and let me do some measurements. I have a uh, diode hooked up to it. Cool that lights up. So back to microamps. And so it shows percent sign for duty mode and um, just notice one little bug when I put it in Hertz. And I go to the duty cycle mode. It doesn't show percent sign on my screen, so that's just a little, little bit of tweaking on the program. Uh, but here, let me put something else in, like capacitor. Okay, so I just hooked up a little uh, capacitor. I think it's 47 microfarads, but we'll see here shortly. 47 microfarads, which is basically what we're getting on the screen. And so, if I stop this program, and I can always start it up um, with a, a log. going out of focus there it is so if we put a dash L on it uh, it will actually write this out to a log file like so so I'm just telling my uh, my log file and the default directory is this var log ut61 log and you know if anybody is interested in this program I will be posting it uh, if you need it, let me know. Leave a comment. Uh, I'll try to uh, find a good place to post it. Still debating on how to get that on there so people can, you know, download the program. But uh, it says, you know, just to show people that, you know, you could do this with Linux. It took me about three days' time working with it. Basically, you can get all the data you want out of it and read it to a log file and you can probably even modify the program and 
just make a simple C, uh, CSV file with it or you can even take the log file and convert it to CSV if you wanted to but uh, if you got any comments on where to post this I'm trying to figure out what would be a good idea just go ahead and leave them in the comments section and uh, I'll get this program to you and use it with your digital multimeter thanks